Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. Uh, want to discuss this relationship between, seeming relationship between bacterial overgrowth and painful menstrual cramps, or what is known as dysmenorrhea, okay? Now I'm not referring to irregular uh, menstrual patterns or, or sustained, uh, you know, vaginal bleeding, those things need to be evaluated by your endocrinologist. But your normal regular cycle, there's a number of women out there who will tell me horrible, painful cramps, maybe can't go to work or school or have, you know, have to be on some kind of pain medicine to, to get through the day for a few days until they pass through the menstrual cycle. And what I've observed over the last you know, 15, 20 years is after a woman would be treated with rifaximin to balance her gut bacteria, we would notice that within one or two cycles, that would go away. Now they might have some mild little men, uh, menstrual, you know, cramping, but it would be very mild, not painful, you know, not limiting. And if they would relapse with their bacterial overgrowth, say their heartburn comes back and these other symptoms of SIBO, their menstrual uh, discomfort would come back. I mean, right as rain, like every time it'll go away. And it takes about two cycles. Sometimes on the first they'll notice it, but certainly by the second. Uh, and it's so reliable to me that even the return of the menstrual cramps, so say a woman gets around a rifaximin, is doing really well, heartburn's gone, and other intestinal symptoms are gone, menstrual uh, symptoms have improved, that if the menstrual cramps return, say six months later, that's a strong enough sign to me that the bacterial overgrowth has returned. Now, I haven't said a lot about this because I really haven't seen much in the literature. I haven't really haven't seen anything about this in the literature because the other main thing that worry about for painful menstrual cramps is endometriosis, okay? It's the excessive growth of endometrial, of the tissue that lines the uterus. And it can start growing in the fallopian tubes and even outside the fallopian tubes on the ovaries and things like that. And this too can be very, very uncomfortable. Well, there's a recent paper um, just discussing the literature about uh, this whole anatomical area. And they've discovered that actually the uterus is not a sterile environment. It has its own kind of bacterial biome in there. And they believe that the influence of your gut biome will influence the biome within the vaginal vault as well as potentially within the uterus. And uh, they're starting to look at linkages to this and uterine fibroids and the development of other kind of problems. So just very interesting if you're suffering from these really bad menstrual cramps, um, you know, if you can get a provider to give you a 10 day course or 14 day course of rifaximin, uh, I think you'll find in one or two months that it dramatically, dramatically improves. So I hope that's useful to you. Everybody have a great day. Take care.